Hello, welcome back guys. This is Onisha Biggs with another pharmacy tech lesson for you. So let's get right into it. Today we're going to learn about variables and fractions. So first let me just discuss with you what a variable is. So a variable can basically be something like uh, the letter, it's basically a letter. So X can represent the variable F. It can basically be any letter that you want to pick. Z, L, S. Typically though, people usually use uh, the X as the variable, okay? So we'll place this as an example of the variable. Okay? So these letters will be examples of variable. Now, what a variable represents is a, let's say for instance, if you have, um, okay, Johnny has two socks, okay? And he would like to add an additional three socks. So, and then you say the variable, the variable would be this. How many socks would Johnny have in total if he added three socks? Okay, so of course, X in this case would equal five socks. So that's all a variable is. It's the missing link to the puzzle. Okay, so how this goes over into pharmacy is, and how we're going to utilize it in fractions are, you're going to have a lot of different uh, conversions. I know in the previous videos, but before this one, we spoke about conversions. So, So before we go to actually how variables and fractions work together, now that you know about variables, let's learn about fractions. Okay, so with fractions, this is what a fraction looks like. You're going to have some number over some other number. Okay, so what this number is, this is called the numerator. Okay, the bottom number here is called the denominator. So basically what this signifies is it's just one number over another number, okay? And in other terms, you can also express this as the, hmm, let's see, I want to write it. This can also be expressed as, well, let me just write it up here. This can also be expressed as a part over the whole, okay? So basically, if I say um, we have one half, this is one half, so that's the numerator. The one will be the numerator, the two will be the denominator. This is one over the whole, which is two. So if I have one whole pill of amoxicillin, okay? Now this is the whole. Now we're going to divide this into two segments here. This whole is divided into two segments and the one will represent part of these two segments. So we would highlight this part. So that would give us, so if you were told to divide an amoxicillin pill into one half, obviously this is the amount that will be given to that patient. Okay? Uh, let's just do one more example just to make sure that you grasp the concept of fractions when in relation to pharmacy. So let's say you have a three-fourths of an amoxicillin pill. So of course you're, this is the whole pill and it's, gonna, it's divided into four different segments. So this whole pill is divided like that and three parts is what we need. So three parts of this amoxicillin pill would be shaded. So this is how much of the pill, so if we erase that, this is how much of the pill that the patient would be administered. 